Kidman? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jared. back to more The Evil Within. When we last left off, we had some fun. Uh, we had a bit of a ride on the short bus. Well, actually, it wasn't that short, to be fair. Um, we had a bit of fun uh, being chased by a giant testicle. And then we uh, had some more fun on the back of a gun turret. Bloody good time was had. Now, uh, Ruvik did end up throwing us through a building because... Uh, I mean, I guess that's just what he seems to do. So here we are in said building. Well, let's continue, shall we? So hopefully uh, we're getting close to putting our boot up his ass. So what have we got here? Oh, let's have a look. Get some gel. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Oh, three big bottles of gel that we can't use. Excellent. Well, we shall carry them around with us. And pretend that we can use them. Mutual. Uh, once in a while, crack the jar and sniff the contents within. Just be careful what jar you're cracking open and sniffing what contents within, because, uh, well, there's a lot of strange folk out there, guys. So, Journal of Sebastian Castellanos, September 1st, 2012. Myra is gone. I haven't heard from her in days. I went to report it, but, that I, but they think I'm crazy. Her car, her computer, some of her belongings are gone. There's no sign of foul play. Everybody thinks that she left me. They keep talking about my drinking, as if it has something to do with Myra's disappearance. Except they're not treating it as a disappearance. They look at me like I'm to blame for her leaving. But I know she didn't leave. Somebody took her. She was getting too close to something. But what? What indeed? What indeed? Anywho, let's go inside the mirror and see if we can uh, spend a couple of keys. Actually, do we even have a couple of keys? We've got some keys. I knew it. I knew it. Also, it came to my attention when I was editing the last video that we actually... Since your last visit. Yes. Not that long, actually. Uh, it came to my attention that we could have controlled the bus. Um... I did not control the bus. So that was a thing. Mansion burns down. Century old mansion burned to the ground. Arson suspected. Victoriano estate burns to the ground. Arson suspected. Way to just repeat the same sentence over and over. Whereabouts of reclusive owner unknown. Well, I'm sure he went somewhere good. Most people go somewhere good. Apart from when they don't go somewhere good. Alright, let's see. We've got a single key. Oh, let's open the top one. See what happens. Ooh! Now that... That's a bloody result. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll, um... <clears throat> yep, mm-hmm, yep, mm -hmm. Okay. I'll take it. I'll definitely take the super mag shells. And I don't know why I'm going down here. There's literally a place that we can go back to normality through here. Alright. Happy as a pig in shit with that, I can tell you. So we've got six big, fat, heavy rounds waiting for us back there. Oh, hey, buddy. Is Setting up a little acid? trap. That is acid. And if we step anywhere near that... Um, Tab, we're going to have a bad time. Well, <laughs> you're going to have a bad time. I'm going to suffer very mild frustrations. You're going to suffer extreme burns. So, you know, I think you'll be a little bit worse off than me. So, let's continue, shall we? Bit of an interesting level, this, from what I remember. Um, I don't think it's too... Oh, hang on. Yeah, actually, there's a little bit more going on in this level than I thought. But that's okay. We're just going to keep slowly moving upwards. Doesn't seem to be an awful lot to see here. 
I take it back. Jesus. That's quite the sight. What could cause this much damage? Is that a subway sticking out of the ground? Yeah, but look how it's positioned. If we can get over there, we might be able to use it to get across. Let's just concentrate on getting out of here. Let's. Definitely, uh, definitely want to concentrate on getting out of here. That seems like a rather wonderful idea, actually. Oh, got a couple of handgun bullets here. Seems like a good place to start. There we go. Alright, let's go. What could possibly go wrong? This looks perfectly safe. Nope. Yep, we're safe. Might want to call the technician. No, don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. Yeah, we might want to phone someone about that elevator. Pretty sure that's not quite up to code. Alright, let's put a few more bullets in here. Or, well, one more, really. And keep this party wagon First going. First Kidman, now Joseph. Well, we're getting used to losing Joseph and Kidman and whoever else. Ah, our good old boy's back. Buddy, you got a little uh, something that no, no, okay. He doesn't seem to be too bothered. So, what's in the vending machine today? Just some more brain juice. I think we can be a bit sneaky sneak here. Ooh. Definitely want to disable as many of these traps as we possibly can. Because the trouble with these traps is uh, they're hoarding valuable resources for us. Probably not going that way. Probably. In fact, this is quite a trap heavy area. From what I can remember. I don't even know what we've got. Oof. Alright. Don't forget, we've got another six of those back home. Ooh. Okay. Alright. Well, I mean, we don't really have a lot of anything. And he has a gun. I don't like it when the enemies have guns. But there's not really much we can do about it. So let's get rid of this obvious, not obvious trap. Acme. A very Acme brand trap, that. Nice. Ooh, don't mind if I do. What else we got? We can hide, but we're not going to hide. Why would we be hiding? Now, if we could sneak up and stab this chap in the brain, probably be quite beneficial to us. Oh, sweet cheeks. Here he comes. There we go. Come on, darling, this way. That's it. That's the way. Put the light off so we shouldn't get caught. I say shouldn't, you know. It's not an exact science. You come a little bit further? No? Alright. That's fine. Oh, hopefully that's enough. Hello, Rubik. Yoink. That'll do. We'll take it. Ooh. Two sniper rifle rounds. Ah, uh, that's kind of a result. Mm, I've got Ruvik there. Actually, we could drop Ruvik somewhat easily, to be fair. Um, there he is. Now, best way... No, why are you... You fucking moron. You've just completely hosed that up. Right. Come on. There we go. Ah, shit. Okay. 
possibly not the way we wanted that to go. And because he's kind of trapped. Uh, yeah, this went really as bad as it could have. So, because he got glitched in the corner there, we couldn't just run and burn him. Which would have been the easiest way of getting rid of him. But, I guess, not allowed. But that's fine. I'm sure we'll find some more ammo a little bit later on. Let's let Sebastian have a little bit of a breather. Yeah, that's where... It's little things like that that kind of let the game down. When uh, enemies get stuck in places where they kind of really shouldn't. And animations play out. Oh. Hello. Uh, this is awkward. Yeah, animations play out and... Ooh. Don't really work the way they should. <clears throat> it's that kind of crust on the old uh, experience that kind of lets it down. The gameplay, that is. It's not tight and smooth at all. But, you know, it's, uh, it's incredibly janky. But, you know, we know it is, so we can work around those limitations. It's a big vat of acid there. Probably don't want to be dipping our faces into that if we can help it. Shame we had to get rid of all of our shotgun shells, but there will be more. There's always more. Health is a bit of an issue, but health is always an issue because we can't really hold any health kits. Apart from the big ones. But I kind of want to save those. I want to save the big health kits for the end of the game. So, got Matey Boy through there. Bit awkward. Should be fine. Or grenade. Oh, can we up and over here? I wonder. If we can, that would be quite nice. I don't know if we can up and over here. We can, but he, of course, hears us, which doesn't really help our cause much. But you know what? That's that's not bad. I'll take it. Definitely could have been a little bit more elegant with that, but not bad. All right. Now, if memory serves, there's more uh, Ruvik clones. In fact, uh, I can't remember how many there is, but there's definitely 100% more than one. All right, we've got some shells. We need shotgun shells. Isn't there, in one of these, I'm sure, there's a key we can grab as well. Ah, there he is. So, the plan to deal with him would be run up, shoot him in the face so he falls down, and then set fire to him. Uh, generally, that's a very solid, easy tactic. I don't trust you. I guess I was right not to trust you. I don't know if we can actually stealth kill Rubik. I guess not. But we can just burn him like that. So, whoop, that works. Come on, you fucker. That solved your fucking problem, didn't it? Alright. So that was two Rubik clones. Oh, I can still hear. Ah. Evening. It's another gentleman with a gun. And he's got a bloody mask as well. <sighs> Unfortunate thing about the masks, it 
makes them invincible. I don't think it should make them invincible, but it does. If we're lucky, we can sneak up on this mofo and knife him in the brain. If we're not lucky, he's going to turn around and shoot us. That we got, we got it. We got this. We got this. Okay, cool. Let's harvest up all the brain juice because we can. Right. I see you, cheeky little bastard. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. What would be really nice is a syringe. Definitely be happy to find a syringe. And I know somewhere. Somewhere there is a key, I'm sure of it. Not a key, uh, oh yeah, a key. A key statue. But where? Do we actually have... We do have a syringe. I'm glad that we could use that. Or standing in front of this thing. We're not... Wait, hang on. I'm always, I might be thinking about a syringe a little bit further on. But I don't think I am. Right, we're going to harvest up all the parts we can get because we're going to be needing those parts. And we're going to be needing them sooner rather than later. Okay. Now, I don't know where all the acid goes when we disable those. I'm assuming it's going somewhere. Good. Right, if I was a bloody key... Where would I be? Oh, talking of, like, um, these sorts of games and all the good stuff. I see they've announced that new Silent Hill uh, series thing. Saw that, and I thought, all right, interesting. And then it's like, oh, it's an interactive movie series. Ah, there it is. And all of a sudden, I was like, nope, I'm out. Like, give me a game or don't bother. Alright, I think that's basically everything we need to do here. Uh, oh. Well, we'll take it. We could probably just about upgrade everything in one shot, if we were that way inclined. If we wanted to have fun and enjoy the game's mechanics. <sighs> anyway. Hmm. Looks like we have some more traps. That's fine. We don't mind that. Okay. Now, the good thing is, I don't think we have to fight the keeper yet. I think we probably could if we wanted to. But, there's no point. We're just going to sneak past him. Bloody traps everywhere here. Hey there, buddy. You having a good fiddle with something? Making more traps? Actually, I don't know what he's... Oh, he's still got an enemy attached to his... Uh, or is it an enemy? He's still got a corpse attached to his uh, axe there, or his hammer, really. That's cute. Alright. Yeah, so even if we did kill him here, there's so many, um, like, safe, safes for him to respawn in. It's not really worth it. I mean, if you were that way inclined, 
and you had like unlimited ammo or something, you could farm a quality amount of gel here. There's our key. Should be maxed out. Oh no. Not quite maxed out in shotgun shells. Not yet. Alright. Careful. Sneaky snake. Don't wanna. Okay, I don't know why that's glitching out, but whatever. We're not gonna sit here and worry about it. Okay. Now these traps take bloody ages to disarm for reasons. Reasons I guess we're never gonna know. Lovely. Hey, ratties. Well. Oh yeah, we can't go that way. I guess follow the rats. I like rats. Yeah. Not wild rats. They're full of disease and they get a little bit bitey sometimes. But pet rats. Pet rats are fun. They're very intelligent. They have their lovely little personalities and... Gah. Alright. Another checkpoint. Happy with that. Kidman! Are you in there? Um, I mean, if she's in there, there's, there's going to be problems because not only would she be in there, large quantities of fire uh, is in there with her. So, yeah, let's hope not. Unless we, uh, you know, are expecting to hear that flesh sizzling and frying. Now, um, I have experimented a little bit with shooting these birds. And in rare cases, they do drop things, but it's actually very rare. Alright, let's keep going. There we are. Keep going. Oh. Ah. Oh, uh, Case. What is in the case? Oh, more bloody magnum rounds. I mean, that in a way that's cool, but in another way that's a little bit unfortunate. No, 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 not that way. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, all right, buddy. Calm down. Chill your bean. We're on the way. All right, somebody is having a fantastic time. No, no, not that way. No. Haven't you figured it out yet? Yes. He loves tormenting others. Has to let them know he has the upper hand. Lays out the bait. Gets his victim all worked up. His unholy trap. When it was happening to me, I could see what was going on. I could see it, but I couldn't turn back. I had to know. I had to know the truth, and he knew it. Detective Castellanos. Lady, level with me. Am I going crazy? If one wishes to survive, one would do well to consider who they trust. Okay, cryptic, but okay. Missing Crimson City Detective Joseph Oda disappeared whilst returning home. Several eyewitnesses claim to have seen him searching Crimson City for someone. Yeah, just searching the whole city. Nowhere specific. Just yeah, you know, he was just searching the city. Oh, well, let's go spend our key. I'd like to go spend our green gel, but we're not allowed to do that. That's naughty. Right. Come on. What the actual six plus five? Are you serious? <laughs> uh yeah, cool, like that. Alright, we don't need brain upgrades. We we've got magnum bullets. And more than one of them too. We've got like we've got loads of magnum bullets. Probably gonna make this bit well, the rest of this bit. Significantly easier, actually. 
Alright. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Open, says me. Oh. I guess we're going down. Which does unfortunately mean we're going to be leaving our magnum bullets behind. But, you know, can't have everything now, can we? Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. We're getting some good rolls here. Some very good rolls. I mean, Magnum ammo. Good lord. Alright. Oh, no. These guys. Oh. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hello to you too. Don't think for one minute that I didn't know about you. Okay. Hang on bullets. We'll have them. We'll certainly have them. Oh, there's a map fragment in here. Ooh, forgot about you though. Luckily, we barely really took any damage from that. That's they're sly with their traps, man. They're very sly with their traps. Kind of lucky that that didn't kill us, actually. All right, whatever. That's fine. I actually think we're sort of close to the end of this uh, thing. There's either a key or a map fragment down here. Now, as we've just got a key... Uh, aha! There we go. Map fragment 25. Don't know if we've missed any, as I've said before. Um... I guess we'll find out. It doesn't matter because I've already unlocked everything for the map fragments, so you don't really matter. I just had to push control four times to get Sebastian to stand up there. And there's nothing wrong with my keyboard. Oh. Okay. Getting tired of the sneaking bullshit. Tired of it. Alright. Wait. Is this... We're going the wrong way, I think. Yep. We're going the wrong way. I wouldn't. Are we? Ah, that's the way... Yeah, this has got to be the right way. I didn't realise we were climbing up. Oh, that's a nice image there, Sebastian. Oh no, this is the right way. I was just confused. Happens to me fairly often. Live my life confused pretty much all of the time. Makes life interesting, if you ask me. Uh, oh, really? Uh, it's only one bullet, but still. To know that we've got one bullet to fall back on. Hey, Sebastian. Definitely want you. Freeze ammo filled right up. Uh, oh, Joseph? hello. Joseph? Joseph? Is that you? I guess it might be Joseph. One way to find out. Now. Ah, oh, can we not search that? There's a key. In one of these. Hmm. Maybe it's later on. My phone is going crazy. And this is just finished work. Okay. Nope. Oh, 
nothing around here. Ooh, we got some more rats. Oh, this bit. I remember this bit is quite spicy. Right. Yeah, I do remember this bit, actually. Oh, there's a key in here. Uh, yeah. I remember there's a key in here. But I know there's a key in one of those done waiters. I know there is. Oh, Joseph has uh, got a bit of trouble. Oh, hello, Rubik. You big old penis. Now what? Now what? Now, from what I can remember, this uh, bit is nowhere near as dangerous as it it seems. Puff, really? You didn't disarm the trap you were right next to. You disarmed the one miles away. That makes sense. With our psychokinesis. Now, there you are. Potentially I could go back and grab that one bullet, but I can't be bothered. I'll be honest. Yep. We've got these uh, crazy robo-hoovers here. But... They are rather easily foiled with shock bolts. Which is why there are shock bolts everywhere. Yeah. Kind of not a huge amount to worry about, really. I don't think it disables them for a X amount of time, either. I think they're just straight up disabled. Possible more are going to spawn, though. That's always a possibility. We've got lots of traps out the arsehole. That's okay. We don't mind that. As long as we can see them. Uh, ooh. Almost didn't see that one. Almost. That gentleman is flatlined. Oh, this should be just like trap disarmor, the game. I'm sure, there's a load of spikes that come out at us at some point. Yeah. Kind of like that. Now these flaming traps aren't exactly that bad. They're bad enough, I guess. Nice. My god, we have so many parts. Uh, I don't think that's going to last. Especially with what's coming up. Actually, I, mm, I don't know, actually. I think. Oh, hello. Quite enough of that business. Thank you very much. Now, I don't know if they're respawning on a timer, but we're okay for now. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like it. But we're out of here now anyway, so... I guess this doesn't really matter. You big old bastard. Eh, 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 eh. Ooh. Door shut behind us. Don't, uh, don't see that happen every day. So, what have we got in here? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Really? All right. Shotgun shells. Now, isn't there... I'm sure there's a key. All right, well, whatever. We'll, we'll find it, or we won't. 
Now, the next phase coming up. Oh, we got two. Very nice. The next phase coming up. We've got so much of this back at base. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, do we want to use this? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I mean... We've got so many parts here. Hello, big boy. You again. Him again. Right. Now let's get a bit of a wiggle on. Oh. Is it really just two? Fuck out of it. Yeah, because he's going to continuously keep spawning. But. You just have to. I think you have to kill him. At least once. God damn it. Not 100% sure. How that bit actually. Um, Fuck. How that works. It might just be a timer, but. Well, I don't know. Nah, I'm pretty sure you do have to kill him. A couple of times. At least. You alright, Sab? You good, brother? Love you. Ah, here we go. Um, There we go, son of a bitch. I knew you was here somewhere. My sweet angel, sing to me. Tell me of your secrets. Probably uh, Green Jail, to be honest. We've had, like, way too many uh, decent roles. For there to be anything else <laughs> that's going to, you know, really help us. Is that it? A little bit light on supplies after fighting a boss. Not that we could really carry that much more, to be honest with you, but, you know. Better find Kidman. Yeah, let's go find Kidman. There she is. I guess she's all right. What's she after? She probably needs to find a shoe shop. She is walking around in high heels. Doesn't really go with the outfit, to be honest. But then look at Sebastian, I suppose. He looks like he's walked out of a 40s detective comic. I just always thought her high heels, they, they really stand out. They don't make a huge amount of sense. Well, maybe they do. What do I know? Leslie can go home. Can take the train all the way home. No, Leslie. Not today. You're... Protect me? Yes. That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be surprised. <gasps> it's not your 
fault. I'm sorry. Stop. You don't understand. You don't know what you'll become. I do. I've seen it. You don't understand what Rubik is after. So tell me, what is he after? He's after Leslie. What, he needs to finish his science project? Don't patronize me. I have orders. I can't let him have this boy. Leslie is the only one he can... So, we find out that uh, Ruvik is after Leslie all along. <gasps> but why? But why? And there is some sort of um, thing going on with Kidman. <gasps> I know. Shocking. Right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.